welcome back guys so today we would be uh, starting with median so uh, like we de uh, dealt with three types of data particularly in mean we would we, we would be also dealing with three different type of data sets uh, in median also so we would not focus more on theory uh, we would uh, just see the formula and uh, go on to solving the problems so the first category of data is raw data second category is discrete uh, data uh, in discrete data we will be given discrete values uh, so that's not more important let us uh, go to the third type of data most important that is continuous frequency distribution so in this type of data median um, this is uh, this is curvy line upon it okay so uh, see the difference in mean it was straight line upon x so uh, median is equals to l plus n by 2 minus m upon f into c so here l is the lower boundary of the median class uh, f is the frequency of the median class m is less than cumulative frequency of the class that precedes the median class c is the length of the median class n is the total frequency no need to be confused don't be confused right now when we will solve the problem it would be much much clearer also, uh, for like, uh, if the class interval is, is in descending order, then there is a unique formula that is uh, u minus n by 2 minus m divided by f into c. So here u is the upper bound of the median class. So uh, don't be confused. Um, in the problems, you can arrange them. Uh, but uh, it is preferred to use the formula because uh, different teachers have different mindset. They might cut your marks. So uh, use this formula use this formula if asked for descending order classes so uh, let's uh, see some examples so for raw data uh, let us determine the mean uh, median sorry median for 26 20 15 45 18 8 10 38 and 13 these are the raw data given so first of all the for, uh, uh, first of all you need to arrange them in ascending order so i have uh, written in the arranged order now number of observation is 9 so it is odd so if it is odd then the value of the median middle term would be the median so 9 so what is the middle term middle term is 18 see 1 2 3 4 and 1 2 3 4 4 4 terms from right and left and 18 is the middle term so for odd numbers the middle term is uh, the median now if the uh, observation is even like this question first we have arranged that then uh, number of observation is 8 that is even then average of the values of the two middle terms so what are the two most middle terms that is 9 and 10 so average of 9 plus 10 is 2 uh, divided by 2 is 9.5 this is how it goes now the second type of data is uh, discrete data so variable and uh, their frequencies are given 3 4 5 6 7 8 and the frequencies are given 2 4 7 9 10 16 respectively so uh, make three columns x y i'm uh, sorry a, x uh, frequency f it is f not t uh, and then cumulative frequency so write the x values this is these are the x values then write the f values these are the f values in the second uh, row frequencies these are the f values then total of the x values uh, sorry total of the uh, f values that would be n is equals to 48 we have added up all these values then how to find cum cumulative frequency cumulative frequency is like uh, for the first uh, first term uh, the same is the cumulative frequency for the frequency like 2 2 is the cumulative frequency then for second place what will the cumulative frequency add for second term to the for a previous term of the cumulative frequency that is 4 plus 2 is equals to 6 now for the third place add the uh, frequency term of that row with the cumulative previous cumulative frequency that is 7 plus 6 is equals to 13 now in the next row add the respective frequency to the previous cumulative frequency 9 plus 13 is equals to 22 this is like you go so uh, we have found that and uh, at the last place you got 48 which is equal to the total frequency this is how you verify that your calculation is correct 48 48 
So now from the above table, what is n by 2 value? n is the total frequency 48 by 2 that is 24. Then C in the cumulative frequency uh, table, where does uh, 24 lies? 24 lies between 22 and 32. So this 22 and 32 line, give a line here. This is how you will give a line. And the median class would be the next cumulative frequency. So 32 and 7. This is the median class. 7, 10, 32 so here 32 is just greater than n by 2 value so we would take that so median is equal to the value of the variable that corresponds to the less than cumulative frequency just greater than n by 2 that is is equals to 7 see n by 2 is 24 just greater than n by 2 is 32 so so go to the respective x value and that would be the median Seven. Starting um, with the median questions and the type 3 question is continuous frequency. So the first question uh, from that uh, data type is the weight of 30 students are given in the following frequency distribution determine the median weight of the students. So weight in kgs are given 60 to 64, 65 to 69, 70 to 74 and so on and their frequencies are given uh, below them 2, 8, 12, 5, 3. So uh, now the very first step we need to see is uh, that if the classes are continuous and here we can see that the classes are not continuous because uh, from the uh, upper class that is the 64 and the, in the next lower class that is 65 they are not continuous they are not same so so we need to uh, like make the, the classes continuous so how to do that so first we would uh, start making three columns class boundaries f that is frequency and less than cumulative frequency so in class boundary what we'll do is we will subtract 0 0.5 from the lower uh, class value and we would add 0 0.5 in the upper class value that is 60 minus 0 0.5 that is 59.5 and 64 uh, plus 0 0.5 that is 64.5 and likewise 65 minus 0 0.5 that is 64.5 and 69 plus 0 0.5 that is 69.5 and so and uh, same uh, way we will do all the other uh, classes now frequency we have written how to calculate the cumulative frequency so how to do that so the f very first value of cum less than fre cumulative frequency is same as the frequency so 2 2 the next value would be the summation of uh, the cumulative frequency um, before that and the frequency which is corresponding to that row that, and that is 8 plus 2 is equal to 10. For the next row it is 10 plus 12 that is 22. So uh, that is uh, 10 plus 12 that is 22. Now next row it is 5 plus 22 27. Then next row 27 plus 3 30. And you match the uh, last value of this with the total of frequency that is 30 and 30. So your calculation is correct. Now next pro uh, process is calculate n by 2 total frequency by 2 that is 15. So find where is 15 in the less than cumulative frequency. It is between 10 and 22. So uh, mark the class frequency and less than cumulative frequency which is just after 15. So just after 15 is 69.5 to 74.5 this class. 12 the frequency and 22 the less than cumulative frequency. Mark this we need to mark this okay now this is called the median class now we will see the formula and how to choose the values so here the formula is l plus n by 2 minus m divided by f into c so here l is the lower limit or the lower value of that median class so median class was 69.5 to 74.5 so the lower value would be 69.5 so l is equals to 69.5 what is m m is the preceding uh, less than cumulative frequency of the uh, median class we have chosen 
so that is 10 this is the median class frequency and cumulative frequency so less than cumulative frequency which precedes it so that is 10 so m is equals to 10 what is f f is the frequency of the median class what is the frequency of the median class 12 now what is c c is the class interval length of class that is 5 subtract 74.5 minus 69.5 that would be 5 now put the values what is l l is 69.5 n by 2 is 15 m is 10 f is 12 c is 5 that would result into 69.5 plus 25 by 12 that would finally give us the answer 71.58 so write the final answer like this median uh, weight is equals to 71.58 kg